Here in the Low Country, the decision sent people into the streets to celebrate and protest. Hundreds of demonstrators gathered in downtown Charleston this evening. News 2's Lexi Moore was there. Hundreds of anti-abortion and abortion rights activists gathered in downtown Charleston reacting to the landmark decision by the Supreme Court. I heard from both sides of the issue and how they feel this will impact them. Anti-abortion and abortion rights activists speaking about their thoughts on the Supreme Court's decision. I had, I don't want to say shock because I kind of knew it was coming, um, but I was definitely angry. I've done a lot of crying today. It's not a matter of making abortion illegal. I want to be part of the solution. I want to be um, part of what makes abortion unthinkable. Nearly 100 abortion rights activists gathered outside Charleston City Hall. Those against the Supreme Court's decision say it's uncalled for. I feel like they're trying to take our power completely away from us, uh, saying that we are not worthy of making this decision for ourselves. Anti-abortion activists support the ruling, some saying they hope struggling women realize there is another option. There's enough hardships in this world, and if we come together and we support each other, I think um, you know a lot of these things that all of us struggle with. With the decision now in the hands of the states, the focus is now turned to what's next with South Carolina's fetal heartbeat law. South Carolina needs to not criminalize or make abortions illegal. Um, unfortunately, as we know from the governor's standpoint, I don't think that that's going to be the case, and I think that we're going to keep going backwards. We have more information about how South Carolina is impacted by the overturning of Roe versus Wade on our website, counton2.com. Reporting in downtown Charleston, I'm Lexi Moore, Count on 2.